Hello, my name is Dr. Rudy Rosen, and I'm your instructor for Texas Aquatic Science and Introduction. I'm a research professor at the Meadows Center for Water and the Environment at Texas State University. I recently wrote the textbook, Texas Aquatic Science, in cooperation with Texas Parks and Wildlife Department and the Hart Research Institute for Gulf of Mexico Studies. This is at Texas A&M University at Corpus Christi. Texas Aquatic Science was modeled after the Missouri Department of Conservation's curriculum, conserving Missouri's aquatic ecosystems from which some of the text and illustrations were drawn and used or adapted. Funding for our work was provided by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service's Sport Fish Restoration Program and the Ewing Hustle Foundation San Antonio. This lesson is adapted from that book, published by and available from the Texas A&M University Press. Production of this lesson and video, in part, was funded by a grant from the National Science Foundation through the Research Coordination Network for Climate, Energy, Environment, and Engagement in Semi-Arid Regions. Today's lesson is on bays and estuaries. To help focus today's lesson, here are a few questions to consider. How do bays differ from estuaries? How are they similar? Why is freshwater inflow important in bays and estuaries? What is a hypersaline bay? What kind of plants are there in coastal wetlands? Compare the adaptations of the spotted sea trout and the red drum. How do these adaptations affect their life in bays and estuaries? What causes tides? Why is there a high and a low tide? And how does changing flow of water affect aquatic life in bays and estuaries? Why is the Texas coast important to a bird that nests in Canada or Venezuela? Describe some of the economic impacts of bays and estuaries. Has your life been affected by bays and estuaries? And last, how can you help maintain healthy coastal ecosystems in Texas?